In preparation, I drew the outlines of the drawing with the pencil tool. Now, create a new layer and place it under the line drawing. From the Selection Tool palette, I choose Refer only to Editing Layer and use the Fill function on the Selection Launcher to color the whole area. Then, I create the base for the skin color. I'm going to use the oil paint brush. This brush can be found in the oil paint subtool palette. I choose a color from the color wheel. I select the color for the shadow from the color palette. Using this, I will draw the shadows next. The brush size can be changed in the tool property palette. At first, I paint the parts that will be in shadow and the parts that will be brighter very roughly with a large brush. It's easier to zoom in using the Navigator palette for this. Next, I select another brighter color and apply it to parts that need to be brightened. Usually I continue like this until I'm satisfied with how it looks. By the way, if you have a particular color you want to use again during the process, it's useful to refer to the color history palette. Now, if you want to choose a color that's close to what you have, but maybe a bit lighter, you can have a look at the approximate color palette and choose from there.
Also, if you want to draw small details, it's a good idea to create a new layer and draw those on there. I create a new layer, change the blending mode to color burn and add the gradient shadow to the character. Finally, I'm adding a simple gradient background.